Oh, fair idea. Think it's a go. Nice. Talk to you. <laughs> Hi. Hi, Hi, folks. You're all welcome tonight. And you, as you can see, I'm coming live from the garden. And I hope you'll all enjoy my lovely crows that will keep us company for the evening. They're my best friends here in Ledmore. We love them to bits. They keep our patio so clean and our windows. But that's nature, I suppose. It's great. So you're all welcome. I'm on Instagram and I'm also on Facebook tonight. And I'm delighted to say that I'm being sponsored by Ryan's Deli and Butcher. Noel and Bernie, they're very accommodating. Said they'd love to come on board. So there's an example of another great local butcher. So that's my one message tonight is to try and support your local shops, your local butcher. When you need some meat, just to make sure you try and give them local guys a, a chance and um, it's not easy these days and we're all small operators uh, against all the big multinationals so just for your meat if you could just say yeah i'm going to buy it in the butcher shop and noel was fabulous this morning and bernie they gave me a lovely uh, lecture and an explanation all about the meat for the burgers so it's fantastic okay so we'll be ready. We're doing burgers tonight and um, I hope you'll enjoy them. And I have the barbecue heat in here. So that's why I said I'd, I'd come out doors to do it. So I hope I'm beating the crows that I'm loud enough. And I say hello to all my past pupils. There's lots of them tuning in every night. My God, it's fantastic. So now Noel said to me, he wouldn't give me a round steak mince. So he gave me his lovely lean uh, kind of a chuck mince. And uh, that's where the butcher is great. He will explain everything to you. So I have about 600 grams. You've got your recipe there. It went up, I think, last night. And um, you really, it's so easy to make all your own burgers. You should never be afraid to do it, okay? So I hope you can all see, okay? I mightn't see you as good tonight, but I, I'll get back to you afterwards. Now, what you do is you have your mince and you have a little bit of chopped onion and that's up to you i chopped it earlier how much you like if you like a lot of onion or not okay there's some nice parsley going in there as well okay and also a little bit of thyme doesn't go astray either now you could add chilies here you could add sweet chili sauce if you want to but i'm just going to add another little bit to this i'm going to add a bit of cream cheese and I'm going to add um, a little bit of garlic with it. Now, there's a little bit of breadcrumbs as well. So they'll help to bind the burgers. Just a couple of handfuls. Okay, so I have... That's a beef mince. And I'm also going to show you... Noel gave me lamb as well. A lamb mince, which is lovely for burgers as well. Okay, so I hope I'm winning on the crows. You can let me know, folks, how they're behaving behind me. They're all up in the trees. And maybe some of you that are far away in America, I know you watch me there. And they're from England and Australia, that you might be able to see Scattery Island there behind us, which is fantastic. We've sat here every day since we've been off uh, looking out, which is fabulous. So I added just a small little bit of grated cheddar. That's optional as well if you want to. Okay. So I just have a pair of gloves on here. So I'll be doing it. And I'm just going to add a little bit. I have a beaten egg here. So I have, as I said, I haven't the full kilo of mince. So I won't add the full egg. It might just make it a bit too wet. Okay. Now if you can make these, say this morning, and you were barbecuing this evening, uh, to make a great job in them, okay? So just mix it around with your hand like that. See? And you get, it's very economical, very cheap to make your own burgers. And I'm, I wonder, is Stephen watching there? Because he's, I heard an expert now on the barbecue. He might be able to give me even a few tips. So that's the first one. And I just have a little bit of flour there. And all you have to do is, if you want to be fussy, you could put it all out. I don't like to use too much flour because it kind of makes the burgers a little bit white. So we'll be, we'll be brushing them now with a little bit of oil in a minute anyway. So that's good. If you want to keep them even, now what size you make these is up to yourself. 
you know i'm not going to make them too big but you might like them lots uh, way thicker than this it's just i'll be watching time tonight so i just want to um uh cook them nice and fast now as as noel said this mince will have a little bit of fat in it so it will be nice and juicy and it's lovely and lean so it's it's a great job really you know the round steak is a bit dry for a burger you want a little bit of flavor and i'm also going to make a few lamb burgers as well just to show you i'll give you that for the fridge if you don't mind thank you now if you had a little bit of time you could pop these on a plate and put them in the fridge is that okay with everyone and it would really uh, set them just the egg would set the protein would set in them so it would be great okay so we've just we've four beef done here i have the uh, barbecue heating there and this is just a gas barbecue because when we're in the pantry we'd often come down in the evenings there and you'd be so tired you really wouldn't have time for the charcoal to heat up so only in the last while that we've had any time okay so now i'm just going to get the lamb mince here as well before i take off the gloves so there's the lamb mince now and that's kind of a nick uh, where uh, Noel has minced it and he said uh, nice flavor now you could add different spices here if you wanted to and Noel has a lot of spices there from Kyle Moore and um, they're a, a company there in Loch Rea, Kyle Moore Acres they're dried herbs but very good as well so okay folks just a little bit of salt a little bit of pepper there you make sure you have that on board again my breadcrumbs i just use them now for this nothing else a little bit of onion some people like lots of onions and i'm adding just a little bit of cheese there as well and i'm also adding the herbs there's thyme there lovely fresh thyme and don't forget that um you know there's the parsley i have it there as well okay so just mix that around nicely and it's great that we're getting such good weather it's great that the weather is so good just one or two little bits of onions that are a little big there so we'll just i was just mixing them around now I just have to, I just turned on the barbecue there at about quarter past seven. So it's at a medium temperature and you, I won't handle this a second, but uh, you'll see the gauge, it comes up kind of to 300, 350, going up to four, yeah. I don't like to have it too hot when the burgers go in. And this barbecue has a solid plate and it has the open plate, so that's good. So these are the lamb now, so we'll just we'll just make a few of those as well for you to see. And if you were anybody was near me, you could taste them, which would be good. So I'll just make a few of those there. You could wet your hands if you don't want if you if you wanted to, but I find there's really no need. I just have three lamb there, so I'll just show you that there. Okay? Now, folks, the other thing we're going to add to these burgers is a cream cheese filling. So just rather than you looking at me doing this, I just bought a little tub of Philadelphia cream cheese today. Now, you could be a little bit more um, if you wanted to. You could buy it with the herbs in it and with the garlic. So what I did was just before I came on, I added a little bit of parsley there. You can see it. And I also added a, some garlic. So how much garlic you add now is up to yourself. Okay, can you all see it there? There's lots of people checking in there. So I'll, I'll uh, get to you there in a second just to see who's with us tonight. I'm sure Bernie's still admiring her lovely apron that she gave me last week. I'm so delighted with it. So look at folks, all you do is, I'll show you here, you just make a little dent in the burgers. We did this in one of our cookery classes, Maureen and I, one day. Just a little dent, okay? Nice little dent there so that you try and get the cream cheese in. Now, you could also add cottage cheese, but it tends to be a little bit lighter. 
but these are lovely with the cream cheese. So you have your spoon and you just add in, look at, and I'm using the knife there just to scrape it off. So it's really with good weather promised, I think, for uh, the weekend. Imagine it's wheat weekend. I can't believe it. I've never had a wheat weekend off in nearly 38 years. I cannot believe it. My God, we'd be so busy in the pantry. It's such a busy weekend. But anyway, that's life, isn't it? I'll just get you to take those away. Thank you very much. My assistant is doing really well. My God, he's really great. I'd say he'll take up with a, with a video company or something late, late after the, he gets back to work. I'd say he'll retire altogether. Now, folks, can you see what I'm doing there? I'm just sealing them and I'm trying to keep them the nice cream cheese in there. Okay. And you want to put a nice little bit there because it's, um, you know, it's lovely when you cook them it'll ooze out for you oh it's lovely now i'm trying to just keep that there so we have lamb and we have beef here so whatever you're you like you know the lamb is nice for a change my right, love now has got a bit of just cream cheese on it i just get i'm just going to wash my hands there for a minute I have a basin of water here. I have a few company directors that advise me what to do. I hope Carmel is watching there in Kappa. I'll be able to drop her down a burger maybe later. For seven days. Okay, folks. See that there? They sometimes advise if you dampen your hands. You know, it will help the, uh, the mints just to come together. But they're all good now. And I didn't use much flour. Okay, so I just rinse that again. And all I'm going to do now with the burgers is I'm just going to brush them. So as I say, if you could do this in the morning and you have your barbecue in the evening. Now I have a special little can here with a little brush that I just kind of use when I'm barbecuing. I wouldn't use it again for other things. So. Just raw meat, just be very careful about it, folks. Okay? So there you go. Put a little bit of oil on one side and then pop it on your grill. And I hopefully you might be able to hear the sizzle there. And I just brushed a bit of oil on the barbecue there before you joined us. And really, it's a great way of cooking the barbecue. It's a beautiful flavor. You know, and we don't get much chance in Ireland. This is the first time in a long time that we've had such good weather. So I said tonight, oh, I'm going to chance. So Pat was organizing himself today. And when he came from the shop here, I was out the back. Because I knew he might stop me if he was here. So I said, I, I, would, I would start before he arrived. <laughs> So isn't that just, can you hear the sound there, folks? It's fantastic. So there's, I can get rid of those there. Thanks very much. Just to give me a bit of room. We haven't as much room out here. I just want to get rid of the raw meat here. And I, I'll wipe it up there. And I'm just going to put the lid on the burgers there and let them be cooking away. I have the heat. It's gone down now because the lid was open. So we'll, I'll tell you there, it's going to go up now to about 200, which is great. So I just want you, um, these herbs there uh, that Noel gave me today, yeah, he said they're really good, you know, and if you haven't the dried or the fresh herbs, you could always go down that route as well. There's one for lamb, one for bolognese. So they have a great selection, really, and there's no additives in it which is what is good. Okay, folks. But really, this time of the year now, in the market last Thursday, I got lovely little uh, lettuce plants. 
So I'm going to pop them into my window boxes now and plant them. So you'll get a nice little bit of lettuce for yourself. Okay, so I've hit the lovely smell here now as well. If you were, if anybody was able to smell through our Instagram or our Facebook, so it would be fabulous to see. Okay, folks, my next thing I'm just going to show you tonight, and I hope I'm winning on the crows. I think I am, am I? They don't sound too bad. They might get the nice smells. So I'm just going to show you the barbecue sauce. And this is the secret of any barbecue. It's fantastic, really. And when I do this here in the summertime, and if Keelan is home, he just loves this barbecue sauce. And I know he's watching, breeding himself in Dublin. So I know, I hope you can smell it, Keelan. It's really nice. And Vincent is up there in Donegal. So he's very impressed with me tonight when I told him I was going out of doors. So Vincent, hopefully you'll get back to Claire again when all this is over. So folks, what I've got in the saucepan is an onion and I also have some garlic. I just gave that a quick cook off before we came on just to hurry us on. Is that okay with everyone? I think the crows are, they heard what I said, didn't they? They're getting a bit louder. Okay, now, okay. Now for your barbecue sauce, I gave you the recipe. There are a few little bits in it, but don't be worried if you haven't everything, okay? So I have the onion and I have the garlic. They're the ba bases really for it. And after that, you just put in everything else. So what's there? I'm gonna just add another little bit of garlic. Just a little bit of chopped garlic, fresh garlic. Now it's kind of like sweet and sour, this, okay? There's brown sugar. There's Worcester sauce, there's vinegar. There's a few different little bits in it. So just, just bear with it. There's a little pinch of cayenne pepper. So we'll, we'll start with that. That's the first thing. And there's also a little few slices of lemon, two slices. There's a little bit of fresh thyme. I'm just going to add a few stalks here a minute, okay? You'll need your measuring spoons. There's a little drop of water, so this can go in now, and you'll hear it. And we just give a little peep at the burgers. Oh, they're doing really nice. Hope you can see it there. Oh, really nice, Fox. I lift up one in a second for you. Oh, I wish you could be here. Oh, they're really nice. I see you there. Okay, Fox, can you see there? They're just scrummy. No, they're really nice. The mince is really good. Bernie, you have a good man there. He does a good job. And Bernie was on my master class with me that night and she loved it too. So we just turn him down a little bit now. I want them just to cook away nicely. Okay, folks, we have to go back. We have ketchup to add. So there's four, and you needn't be too fussy, about four spoons of ketchup. Two, three, oh sorry, this is tomato puree, and I have the same of ketchup. I just bought the Super Value brand there today. It actually is a nice ketchup. I'm not really a ketchup person, but uh, for this sauce, you kind of need it. Anything to do with barbecue. So there's one. There's two, there's three, and there's four. Is that okay? Now, there's also Worcester sauce there. Two tablespoons. Okay, so that gives it a nice kind of a kick, really. There's two tablespoons of vinegar. So if you white wine vinegar, I had just a bit of rice wine vinegar. So I have that measured out there. I'll pop it in. And there's also, there's a lot of little bits, you might say. There's also a little bit of mustard. Okay, all the flavors will blend. And this will keep in your fridge now for, oh, a week. Once it's cooked up, I often used to make a big batch of it. We used to do it in the pantry there one time. Now I'll just 
pop this guy down again let him get cooking away there and this is the brown sugar I just added in a nice soft brown sugar and I hope Claire McCarthy a past pupil of mine is listening out there in London she she comes on board every night just take another drop of water if you don't mind. thank you I'm just going to turn this down now you'll see it and I let it kind of cook away and simmer away you'll see it there I'm going to add a little bit of parsley into it as well and a little bit of salt and pepper don't forget that as well you will have to taste this barbecue sauce I always find it's it varies a little bit and I added in the cayenne and maybe Don and Innes there my my nephew, he has a cat that's called after the cane pepper, so uh, I hope he's watching there tonight. He might be able to make himself some burgers. So Claire McCarthy, greetings to you there in London. She's on every night. Fantastic. And Deirdre Hoy, another past pupil of mine, is there up the Midlands up in Offaly. Herself and Derek there, they're both past pupils, both chefs. So it's fabulous. So folks, I'll just show you this here. It's cooking away nicely, but a fabulous smell. Oh, it's just gorgeous. That okay with everyone? So I let that cook away there for a few minutes. I keep it on the side so that you can see. I think I've everything added in. Salt and pepper, water, cayenne, mustard, brown sugar, yeah, garlic, onion, and oil. Yeah, no bother. That's great. Just keep it down low now let it simmer away now you could sometimes with this sauce i'd liquidize it just get the hand blender if you want didn't want the chunks of onions in it but that's up to yourself really and i got a lovely other message from a past pupil there the weekend as well after the last so my lid is loose there Pat. okay with it yeah that's fine yeah oh these are doing just gorgeous See how quick they cook, folks. I'll show them to you there now. See it there? And the, and the lovely white, oh, the lovely cream cheese is oozing out from them. So they're really nice. Now, while they're on there, another local producer in Kilrush, uh, who we use a lot in the pantries, Pines, Martin, and Michael there, so I just got some buns this morning, the burger buns from them. So if you want to just pop them open like that, I have them cut and pop them onto the top of the barbecue. Okay, so they do a great job. They're long time friends of ours and of Pat's parents as well, always great friends. Okay, it's Constantine's Bakery and they're, they're a long time on the go. So thank you, Considines. I was into them this morning and uh, I said, lovely to have the one. So I'm just heating those there so that we can have uh, them ready. And uh, while you're, when you're on the barbecue then, you might just have your little plates ready, just maybe even a bit of salad. I didn't go on out too much. I have a little nice dish here ready for the barbecue sauce. So all you have to do then is just keep an eye Keep an eye on the buns. They won't be long doing, really. Now, if you don't have a barbecue, you might have a pan like this at home. We use this now in the pantry for our classes. Fantastic for doing the buns, really. For doing the um, any of the breads, uh, anything, a French stick slice. It does a fabulous job. So I'm just opening out those there. And the burgers are done now. I'll, I'll show you one. And the smell is just divine. Now the barbecue sauce, if you can leave it for a few more minutes, it would even be better. But I need to taste it. Because if you don't taste this, you might have to add more sugar. A lot depends. Mm, it's lovely. Spicy. Lovely. I think it's good actually. Maybe just a little bit of salt and pepper is all I need in it. Or so even the salt. I have that here, I think. Have you brought in the salt again? It's okay. 
just a few little bits and pieces and you can take out your lemon slices then before you serve up. I'm taking them out there and I also remember I put in some thyme there. Okay folks, I hope I'm winning on the crows and I hope all the people that are away in America can see Scattery Island is down there looking at us every day. Fantastic really. So I hope you're enjoying the fresh air, watching. It's lovely to be outside. We don't get many chances of this. And all my customers from the pantry, hopefully we'll all be back there. We won't feel it. We'll be back at the, at the end of June. Okay. Okay, this is cooking up lovely. And my buns, I'd say, are ready there. Lovely. Lovely crunchy there. So you can put either. I'll show it you there now. You could also use a little bit of relish. Now the lamb had its shape bigger really than the, than the beef for just to anyone that wanted to know. The, the beef seemed to shrink. How will you know if they're done? You can either put a skewer in them or you can just um, cut with, with um, I just, a knife, I have it here. A knife, I have it here. I just want to check for everyone to see and to see the fabulous, i lift that up for you now. You'll see the garlic, the cream cheese oozing out of this. And if you even had a little bit of your fresh chive flowers there, look at them. You could pop a little bit on top and they just look divine. Okay, folks, I have another burger bun here. So you'll be, you'll be serving them up. I'm sure everybody, the kids be grabbing them really that you don't even see. The lamb actually, the lamb, I just leave these. The one guy is a little bit bigger. The lamb didn't shrink as much as the beef. So we'll have to ask Noel, why was that? I'm sure he'd be able to tell me. Okay, the other thing that's nice with burgers, folks, with gorgeous burgers here, is some cucumber pickle. We do this in the pantry. And I had a little bit that I made the weekend and you could pop some on top of the burger. And they would be lovely. The coolness of the cucumber would be lovely on your burger. And then you just have to just organize ourselves a little bit. So just you have your lovely sauce and you just look at it, pop it in there. Oh, it's lovely with barbecue food, lovely with a bit of steak, even just even a little bit. No, uh, Noel does lovely black pudding as well, even if you just wanted to put some black pudding on the um, barbecue, it would be lovely as well. Okay. So you can see how easy that's to do really folks. All you need is just get the few bits and pieces. And just give that there a wipe. There's another girl there too, another Dimta. Dimna McNamara, another past pupil of mine in Kildreis that sent me a lovely text at the weekend to say how wonderful she's enjoying this and her children are baking every day. So isn't that great? I'm delighted. So folks, look at, these are your homemade burgers. But our lovely uh, rinds, uh, mints, either beef or lamb. And we also have Constantine's buns, our bread rolls, whatever, and our beautiful barbecue sauce. So hopefully, and the other I just want to show you tonight is my lovely husband gave me, said, <laughs> said he'd be really good to me and he'd give me some of his beer if I behaved well tonight at the barbecue. So look at that. That's all you need, folks. So some beer, some homemade burgers, lovely. And don't forget your local shops, uh, your butcher, uh, your green grocer, all of them, please give them support. They need us at this time. So support your small local shops. Get the meat there, give them, they need the business. Okay, folks, so hope to see you again on Friday night. And if the weather is good, you never know, we might be outside again. So until Friday night, stay safe and thank you for watching. And I'll get back to all your comments there now in one second. Okay?
So cheerio from Ledmore and all the crows that are here with me. <laughs>